Welcome everyone to the home of the war chant, Osceola, Renegade, and the Florida State Seminoles, the place simply known to some as the Dome. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see, the number 14 team in the country, the Clemson Tigers, taking on another team from the ACC, the Florida State Seminoles. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Looking for blockers. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Clemson Tigers offense will get the first possession of the game. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling, the temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Man, early in the game, I love when you set the tone and make the quarterback feel uncomfortable. Nice job getting them on the ground, getting your first sack of the day. Listen, they had three last week, but they want to continue to build on that number, keep getting it higher, and that's a great start. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. They'll look to pin him deep. First one's on its way. The leg ought to be strong. Only called on twice in the victory last week. So Florida State's offense will have its first possession of the game. I know what a weapon he is on the outside, but stretching the field against this dude in the secondary will be a challenge. And just some safeties have it. The awareness, the ability to see the ball, to break on the football. And he's one of those guys. This QB better be looking the safety off. You can't just trust your receiver's going to out-athlete him every time you throw him the ball, because this safety is a different breed. Quick completion to the right. Brought down at the 39 after a pickup of 10. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The run from the shotgun. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And a good solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to power their way ahead. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. The Seminoles come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Catch in the middle. It's Brown. Touchdown, no! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. Going to run it. It's Maffa showing off the arms. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Yeah. 
just feeds the running back. He'll push his way out to the 38, pick up a three. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the run. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. The Tigers are moving quickly down the field. Single back formation, and they give it to him. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. They have just bloodied their nose on this drive, all on the ground. It's first and ten. Trying to get to it. And the Heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. Well, this offense give it, and then it turned around and give it it back. And I think a bunch of people are going to go, why don't they just turn around and hand the ball? I'm not going to hand the ball off every single play. I understand nice big play, the play before, but listen, you got to mix it up. you got to keep them guessing, but you obviously want to have a little more success than the sack. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Seventh play of the drive coming up, and a long way to go on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. He'll pull it down and run. Trying to buy a little time, and he cannot, but he does get it back closer to the line of scrimmage. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. Clemson will send the punt team out. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. It'll go out of bounds, and we'll see where they mark it. It's going to be right around the 35. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. On the move, it's Toafili. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Trying to escape and get it himself. Short gain on the play before he slides. The Seminoles will call on their punt team. He gets his first one of the day out of there, and they used him three times in that loss last week. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Looking to move it through the air. They're trying to get to it. Coming after it. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to throw. It's Klubnik. Gets it out fast. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. He's going to take off. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at the 34. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. The give to the back. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period.
They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Now the play fake. Throws to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Getting some heat. Keeps the play going. But now he's swallowed up and he'll be knocked down for a loss on the trick play. Well, this guy's become a bit of a problem for opposing offenses. In their last game, he had two sacks, and he's dominating again, getting his first sack in this game now. He right now is wrecking people's game plans. This offense will find out how to slow him down. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. It's a draw. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. And now on third down after that last run. They'll try to run for it. And the Seminoles have a first down. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. They've been running it, but now the pass. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. This offense has a second down play. Running back searching for a hole. And midfield, he's got room. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. They go to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give is to Williams. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. The Seminoles will have it first and ten. The give from the gun. Moves it forward just a bit, a pickup of one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Makes the tackle at the 31. It's a pickup of five on the play. They want to continue this long drive. Ninth play coming. It's third and five. Looking downfield. It's Uyunga Lele. Nowhere to go with the ball. And down he goes at the 39. Yeah, and I like teams that are aggressive. When offenses go empty and spread you out, you only got so many guys to protect your quarterback, and the linebacker comes through and hammers the quarterback and gets the sack. The Knolls decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Wanted to make sure not to give them a chance for a return as it goes out of bounds. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David. Now trying to put something together. Well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively. Here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple of throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Looking to throw. They're setting up the screen. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. He'll do it himself. Pass the first down marker and still running. And after the explosive run, giving this offense a little bolt of energy, he steps out of bounds with the first down. Looking for a gap. It's green. 
Clemson has always loved these quarterbacks who can put pressure on defenses by running the football. No doubt. And, man, it's it's such an advantage to have guys that are elusive and electric that can, that can get outside, and you got a back going one way, a quarterback going the other way. It really stretches your defense, and Clemson has been ahead of the curve, and they've been on this for a long time. Dropping back, it's Klubnik. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. Clemson will send the punt team out. What a terrible, terrible shame. And no shot at a return here as the punt goes out of bounds. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Got a man. It's Koafili. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. And the Knowles will line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. On the return, it's Brown. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. They'll put this one in play first snap of the drive from the 25. Unloads to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Lost to throw on first down. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Clock's running and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He's looking to throw. He rifles one deep down the middle. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Going up top on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. The short hands. It's Morlock. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. He's going to pass. Feeling some heat. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Well, that's not Lamar Jackson back there scrambling around. This is a guy the defense felt like if we can get him out of the pocket and flush him, we can get after him and chase him, bring him down. And they did that one pretty easy there, getting the sack. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And he takes this one back to the line of scrimmage, a rather anticlimactic end to the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Ready to start the second half, and Clemson will kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. 
They keep it on the ground to open the third. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Motion from the offense. To throw. It's Uyangalele. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Out of the gun, the inside give. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. From the gun, running back gets to give. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? Gives it to the back on the draw. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Bringing it back, it's Brown. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Power, now use it against him. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Pressure coming. And there was no for this quarterback and down he goes you can just see the excitement this defense has every play they're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him that's the sixth time they've registered a sack Clemson will send the punt team out they're up to a half dozen kicks today Looking for a block. It's Benson. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return. Gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Quick strike complete. They'll pick up four. Second and six coming. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Back to throw. It's Uyangalele. Trying to get to it. It's complete to the left. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. The gift to the back. Rams him with the stiff arm. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. And the Seminoles come to the line with a new set of downs. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Leaves it with the running back. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. The Seminoles are threatening in the red zone. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Here's his offense with a fresh set of downs. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. And he was going for the touchdown there, and they couldn't make the connection. Operating in the red zone here on second down. On the move. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They're trying to get to it. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. 
And the defense there goes zone coverage, maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. And he'll try this one from the left hash and 33 yards away. Going right down the boulevard. And now the lead is even bigger. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Washington is getting stomped right now. I mean, thrown around the field like a salmon at Pike's Fish Market. Just a brutal performance. They're trailing by 18 to Michigan. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And the returner will be brought down. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Back to pass, it's Klubnik. A little release to the back. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Coming after it. Man, that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground, this defense having their way. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. And when your defense is performing like this, pitching a shutout, you want to find a way to reward them and help them out a little bit, David. And I guess that's the upside for this offense. Their defense has been so good. But man, oh man, they've got to find something, Jesse, that they can hang their hat on, something they can do to move the football. It just feels like at this point, they kick one more field goal and this is ball game because of how well their defense is playing. So I think offensively, just don't do anything stupid and give the game away. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble, and down he goes. A tremendous loss. And come on now, O-line, you got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one that gets you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. Number 29, on to punch and away. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. Excellent coverage and tackle that time, and that's how the third quarter comes to a close. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. They have a first down at the 41-yard line. Use the play fake, now to throw. They're bringing heat. And they got him, they'll get him down for the sack. 
Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. To the air, it's Klubnik. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Clemson set up with another first down. He wants to throw. Getting some heat. Got it behind the line. It's grinding stool. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Line getting set on second down. They'll run it to the right side. They make the tackle after he gets two down to the 25. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. Shoots it to the left. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Field goal is good. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Got it in the middle. It's green. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Trying to convert this second and short. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. He'll keep it himself. Ball is loose. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Dude, you're in such a great position. You got the lead. Clock's winding down. I got to put some drives together. The last thing I can do is give the ball back to the other team. Horrible fumble. Big-time costly mistake. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Third and goal from way back there. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. Couple of guys there to get him on the ground. Trailing and getting deep in the game. They'll go for it here on fourth and goal. Back to throw. It's Klubnik. Pressure coming. They got him. It's a sack. Took a chance to try to score the touchdown and now get nothing. Man, that stings. You go all the way down the field. You get a fourth and goal situation, and the offense comes up small. The defense gets the sack. No points for you. The 
Seminoles have it back, though, trying to get that offensive spear flaming. This time, they need to take care of the ball and maybe extend this lead, David. And I think you got to look at the positive, Reese. You still got the lead. Now take care of the football. Put a nice drive together, Jesse. You don't have to stress. They're still winning. I feel like they think that player for player, they're the better unit on the field right now. They just got to make more plays. They'll leave it with him. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Quick touch pass to the receiver. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Seminoles send out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. They've got it back after that last drive stalled out, and they were stopped on fourth down, David. Yeah, and they put a little... And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And that is a major reason why this team is losing the football game. They can't protect the quarterback. They can't generate big plays in the passing game because up front, they're getting beat time and time again. So now they'll try to mitigate that disaster on second down from the 15. Power football with the run. Finds just enough daylight to work his way up to the 19-yard line. Certain moments in the game you know are just a little bit bigger. Here's one of them. Big play coming on third and long. Going to try to get it himself. Great job to get down with the slide after getting everything you could. Clemson will send the punt team out. On the return, it's Benson. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Seminole. Boy, do they need that score. Gave them a little cushion as they try to put a stop to this two-game slide. When you've got a losing skid, there's nothing like some good old home cooking. They came back home, and they have played an outstanding game. And let's give this crowd a helmet sticker. They've been so loud. You know they've impacted this game, and that's the beauty of college football, helping their team get back in the win column. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Washington is in major trouble today. The folks out there in Seattle are heading for the exits with more determination than a Marshawn Lynch touchdown run. They're trailing by 25 to Michigan. He uncorks a laser deep down the middle. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. Throws to the wideout. It's caught downfield. Slicing and dicing through this defense, and they've got it down to the 23. That big play flipped the field. Now they go to work from just outside the red zone. Trying to find his man on first down. Unloads to the wideout. And you just don't expect your junior quarterback to get fooled and to throw it into double coverage like that. He'll just keep slinging it. Pass rush, gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. They're at their fastest tempo trying to get off this third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. 
Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught for the late touchdown. So how about this? Maybe we are set up for a finish. And listen, still a ways to go, but great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stopped? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. These are the games. These are the moments. This is the opportunity for the finish that people remember in rivalries like this one. And those highlights that are shown for years and years to come. These big-time moments, Palmer, coming down to the wire, who steps up and makes the big-time play. And this is why you lift the weights in the offseason. This is why you do all the gassers and all the sprints. For moments like this, game on the line in one of the biggest games of the year. We've got a timeout on the field, a tight game in the fourth, and the Brain Trust will go to work. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. They'll throw it on first down. Trying to get to it. Makes the catch. It's Mafa. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. He caught it. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Got to get everyone set. They spike it to stop the clock. Now second and goal and right in the teeth of this noise. Looking to pass. It's Klubnik. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Couldn't find anywhere to throw the football. Just got rid of it. And that's the number one thing. Avoid disaster here. Was to pass. Looking for the score. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Let's see what they've got on second down. When you deal with a rivalry game, you have to live with the outcome for a full year. And this one is going to rest in their minds for the entire season going into next year. And it's not going to sit well with the losing team. When you lose these, you're going to get hounded and you're going to get hate. You're going to get social media is going to destroy you about losing to your rival. But you got to put it past you. It is just one game. It's not that big of a deal. Well, Jesse, yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is a big deal. You're right, David. I mean, a lot of these kids, they played with each other or against each other in high school. They've known each other for a long time. There's going to be a lot of trash talking going on, not just between players, but the fans, their families, coaching staff. This is a game that's going to get talked about for an entire year. And you talk about wanting to get revenge, it's going to take some time. 
That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.